Here's the pet doors we put in. It's a pet safe pet door, the large one to 100 pound. They're not real big. What is it? What does it say? 10 and an eighth by 16 and a quarter. Got a cover on there. Oh, the cover's kind of tight. There we go. <laughs> Got the double flaps. guys we have had this kennel project going on forever now it seems like and we have been so busy this past year that we finally called in some reinforcements had a contractor come out and just said finish it for us and so that's what he did and I'm gonna give you a little tour got a nice little deck on the front uh, I guess you start with we this was a is a Graceland 12 by 32 it's one of those sheds that you see along the road for sale and uh, yeah, it's a big one, 12 by 32. And I can't really give an endorsement to Graceland because, I mean, that's a well-built building, but just the crap we had to put up with, they sent the wrong collar out the first time. And we had a spot all set up with rock down for it to set on. And the guy that brought the uh, building out, he was able to get it in that spot, but he sent the wrong collar. And this is like a polyurethane coating it's not just paint and because at first they said well it's wrong it's it was a natural we wanted the gray and they sent out a natural collared one and they said well we can just paint it well that ended up not being the case so they sent out another building and it was a different driver this time and he could not get it back where we wanted it he got the other one out end up hitting our pole barn putting a dent in the pole barn they haven't done anything about that but anyhow enough about Graceland it's just it's a well-built building, but I, I don't would would not want to deal with the people again. So I'll give you a tour of the outside. We got it's got a metal roof, and we got metal on the bottom. That was actually some leftover stuff from the inside walls that I'll be showing you here. We got a drain in the floor of each inside kennel. Here's the outside. We went with a Retriever brand. These are for the ones they have at Tractor Supply. You can see right here, they're the, these are the 5x10. We've got six. Worked out pretty good with the 32 foot building. And a concrete pad. The pad's actually a 12x32 also. And we got the, I can't remember if this is called goat panel or horse panel, but we put that up just to keep the dogs from, we didn't want any wood for the dogs to chew on. So we got this up. Hopefully they'll leave it alone. This feels pretty sturdy. It's held, got conduit straps screwed into the building there to hold it in place. Inside and check it out. Now we've got this rock solid garage floor stuff we put down. We have a whole video on that and it didn't turn out so good. I mean, it I think it's protecting the floor, but it stains so bad, like anything that goes down on it stays there. It's just, it's terrible looking. But anyhow, I mean, we've got a video out there if you want to check it out, but like I said, I would not do that again. So inside we got the FRP 
all the way around the fiberglass panels it's everything is insulated we've got Gail found this foam I think it come out of an old schoolhouse she's got a video on how we uh, cut that she cut it with a hot knife everywhere around the walls we've got that foam insulation we've got we found this other that insulation there I think that come from another schoolhouse or church or something it's in the ceilings here then we got there's we got insulation in the ceiling above we got power of course plan to probably put a window air in here run a little heater and it it does not take much to heat this thing we it was the winter time when we did the floor and we put a little propane heater out here and I come back out and it was 99 degrees in this building so it does not take much to heat it but inside we got more of the goat panels horse panels whatever you want to call it protecting the wood in here we got metal roofing more of the we got that all the way around and went with the pet safe doggy doors and they're the double so hopefully that'll work good for the heating and the cooling floor drains each kennel has its drain even the door is insulated each end that's that's storage up there right now. We've just got some of our uh, work materials, but I'm going to be getting all that out of there. Then we can store dog supplies and whatnot up there. Stain this a gray to match the rest of the building. I think the guys did a really good job on it. We only went with a five foot wall so we can circulate the air. These benches aren't going to stay. They're actually going in a cabin we're redoing. And those things are heavy as heck. We got those. Should do a video on them now. We bought out, pretty much bought out a bar that was closing down, bar and restaurant. And these were the waiting area benches. And they are some heavy duty stuff. Ceiling fan really moves the air in here. Got the LED lights. Got a little storage area here. I'm getting ready to go put a pallet down, put some dog food right there. So yeah, we wanted to keep the, we know from experience that that will chew on wood. That's why we went, tried to keep the wood to a minimum. Oh, we, we do have this. Might have to put some metal over that piece there if they start chewing on it. We'll just have to see how that goes. But we are pretty happy with it. We like the way it turned out. Hopefully the dogs will be happy with it. Now this was not a cheap way to go. It's, I mean, Gail put a lot of money into this. I'm not sure the totals, but I mean, you can imagine with the, just the building was not, a, was not cheap. And then all the work that's been done inside and outside Now this window here will have to put some metal up to keep the dogs from knocking the screens out and the glass out and all that business. So anyhow, that's Gail's little 
she shed dog kennel and uh, if you have any questions at all about it just leave a comment below and we'll be me or Gail either one will be glad to answer I'm sure I left out a few things that people might want to know about notice one thing about these doors that the cover doesn't want to stay on very well it snaps on there but then it'll come back out here it'll be popped back off so I don't think that's gonna be very good at keeping a dog out but. so anyhow guys thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you later <laughs> well I know there'll be some people asking who did the work on our kennel and here's who did a big part of the work Hardy Boys Construction if you're in Indiana you might give him a call